Well, hello there. Today we're going to make osso rucco, which is an Italian classic made of veal, shin of veal, um, with marrow, veal on the bone, very good, in white wine. So we're here at Borough Market in London, and we're going to buy some veal, and we're going to buy some other ingredients which we need for the dish which we're going to make later on today. Stay with us. That's it. There you go, Osirubo, shin on the veal. This is what we're after. Yep. So, next, we get some tomatoes. Nice big vine tomatoes. That's what you want. Yep. No, I don't think we should use that. Sure. Because they don't know they have it. Yeah. Some fresh parsley that goes in the dishes. Well. That's a lot. So. Hello there. Well, here we are, back in the kitchen. We're just on the market. We bought some of the ingredients for Osobuco. Some of the ingredients we already had, so we didn't need to buy it. And I'm going to first make a veal stock, which is one of the ingredients. That takes about three hours. After that, we're going to make the actual Osobuco, in which the veal stock will be one of the components. So the overall ingredients are obviously the Osobuco. There you go. Big pieces of the bone, marrow in the middle, nice and soft, and then the meat around it. Butter, white wine, water. Tomatoes, which we'll peel and we'll take the pips out, we'll do that later. Lemons, just for lemon peel. Um, garlic, parsley, bay leaves, thyme, sage, basil and marjoram. Shin of veal, this is purely the bone, uh, or almost purely the bone, there's very little meat in it. We're going to use this to make the actual the, 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 the veal stock. Huh? Do that. And what also goes in the veal stock is some, some carrots and some shallots in this case. You can use any other one. Uh, this is just for decoration. Huge bunch of parsley. Uh, 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 parsley. Uh, that's not an uh, actually the used oil. And then of course we have some gnocchi, which we're going to use as just in the coffee. Here is the pan. My steel pan, already at frying speed. Getting nice and hot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Shit of veal in that, just quickly brown it a bit, just like so. I'm gonna take one of the three pieces of garlic, give it a bit of a crush, stick it in as well, and the onions. Oops, most of the onions. Like so. And that is gonna need to fry away and brown for only a couple of minutes and then it's going to go in the stock pot right here with the herbs most of the herbs you see here and um, that's going to then bubble for about three hours slowly and take all the taste out of the bones and out of the herbs into the water the juices you sip put it through the strainer and you'll have the veal stock we'll show you the steps so Cut for now. Um, we've been frying away. Here, the shin, the bones, with some marrow and bits of meat and some onions in my steel pan and some butter. And now all that goes into the pan, the stock pot, like so. Clots, clots, clots. A little bit stuck to the bottom, that's good. That adds a bit of color and flavor to the stock. Obviously, it shouldn't be too much. Put this away. And then we're going to add the various herbs. There's a bit of parsley, a bit of marjoram, there's a bit of basil, there's a bit of sage, there's a bit of thyme, there's bay leaves, and then there's cloths. All of them going in just like that. And then, to finish it all, we're going to also put in some. Carrots, 
and onions. And that's going to sit there and it's going to boil. Boil away, boil, boil, boil. We're going to add some more water for about three hours. So first you bring it to the boil and then you let it boil on kind of low fire for three hours or maybe even longer. We're going to have to see. Little, like so, pop up. And off you go. In the meantime, we prepare everything else for the Sabuco, but we'll come back to you. One. So while our stock is bubbling away, look, here it's bubbling. It's actually not yet bubbling, but it will start to bubble pretty soon. Uh, we're going to skin the tomatoes, and to do that, we just need to boil them, which we're going to do. So we'll boil them a couple of minutes in just some water and then uh, we're going to skin them then we're going to take the pits out and all the hard bits and we cut what's left out in, in uh, small bits and we're going to use that in the also see you soon One. so now we have boiled the, the, the stock for about three hours we have uh, you know done all sorts of things in the meantime we have been having fun with the baby we have been um, drinking some wine we have been reading some books and here's our stock as you can see, which is now pretty much ready. So what we're going to do is sieve the stock. Put it through the sieve. So here we go. And the lid in here. Drop it all into the sieve. Too much even for this, but that's all right. And there's our stock. Now, obviously, you don't want all the other bits, those are all finito. Put those away, just like this. But what we have here is a very, very rich field stock. A very, very rich field stock indeed. And we can see what it tastes like. Look what it, what it looks like, and it's quite a quite a firm feel stock, this one. Ooh, cool, yes, indeed. All right, so in the meantime, um, I might have a little syrup, which is also important. There we go. We're drinking a Ribera del Duero, a Spanish wine. Which is very good with this, but you can drink all sorts of other good wine with this. It doesn't have to be that particular one. In our pan, we've already got some um, uh, butter frying away. Uh, this, this is getting hot, hotter and hotter and hotter. And what the first thing we're going to do is brown our osobuco. Here they are again, our beautiful osobuco, bought this morning at Borough Market, a little bit to make them brown. So they go in there, get a bit more power so that the heat. Stays the same, like so, and then in a minute we'll throw in the rest of the ingredients. One. Right, look here, we've browned the osobuco a little bit, look in the pan, shot the pan, very good. And now what we're going to do is add the tomatoes, which we have peeled and tipped, as you may remember. So in they go, like so. Next up on this white wine. If it's not clean enough to drink, don't cook with it. This one we've tested, it's pretty okay. It's an Italian one, about half a bottle, about half a bottle, and then obviously our veal stock. And if you don't want to make veal stock, as we've done painstakingly this afternoon, you can buy it too. <laughs> but of course, this is much better and more fun. So here you go, you ladle in quite a large amount of fuel stock, which, which will thicken more as you cook it longer, but I'm not going to do that. And then a couple of good ladles like that, maybe half a bit more. The rest you keep for other things. This sits there, we have stirred a little bit, make sure that everything is a bit spread out, just like so. Pop on the lid, and now about an hour and a half of cooking. See you soon. 
Well, come back, and um, we are now doing the finishing touches on this dish. So here we have some gnocchi, which we cooked in water, combined, as per the suggestion of the cameraman, some of the field stock. It's going to be a very good culinary idea. And right in here, there is our also buco. Our famous also buco. And we're going to just drain the gnocchi off, like that, into the sim. Like so. Shake it out a bit, get under the hair. Ah, very good. Then they go on the plates. Serve the plates. Just like that. While they dry up a little bit, here you can see the garnish we're going to put at the end. Lemon peel, chopped parsley, and chopped garlic. Fresh. It's not another oil dish, but okay, we'll put some more. Alright, so now we're going to take the osobuco out. So it's been cooking for a little bit, uh, almost an hour and a half. So you just have to check how long you actually need to cook. Just like that. And you can see the marrow has dissolved into the sauce. The meat is completely cooked. You can see it's still brown. Around it. There we go. And now, perhaps a little bit of sauce over the whole thing. This will get thicker as you cook it longer. Here you mix this garnish of lemon peel, parsley and garlic. And that goes right on the top. Mm. So, et voila, we're going to eat this, have fun making it yourself, of course you can do it quicker, you can do it more easy, but this is the best way, thank you.